Well, we're into the busy Christmas period. Two matches in three days. And today, it is the North London derby. Tottenham Hotspur versus Arsenal. And since sacking Nuno Espirito Santo, which they've just done in real life today, Spurs have actually risen to 10th place. And they don't have a new manager. Is the caretaker manager in charge. It's going to be a tough one today. North London derby on camera for the first time in the save. Uh, let's see how we do. As always, if you're enjoying the series, do drop a like on the video and leave comments. They are the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos. Let's jump into today's video, the London Derby in, I think it's episode six now, of the Arsenal Save My FM22. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2022 and the Arsenal save and the North London derby today against the Spurs side that have definitely seen some improvements. Uh, Leicester, they kind of have as well. They're up to 16 points, so they could escape the bottom three. Uh, they seem to be having a bit of a resurgence under their new manager. But London derby today, we did win 2-0 in the reverse fixture. Barboza getting two goals on his debut. Hopefully this goes just as well. Last episode, it was a 1-0 win at home against Leeds United. A good defensive display here and uh, Saka getting his second goal of the season to give us that 1-0 win. Off camera, we played four more matches, including two against Manchester City, one in the cup and one in the league. Let's see what happened and let's have a look at the goals from those games. Party to Saka. And Saka looks for a Bamiyang and doesn't quite find him. A big block there by Max Ahrens. Not even kidding. That was the only highlight in that match. Absolute snooze fest at Carrow Road. Messina with a throw here. Here's Josh King. Back to Messina. Messina to Ozan Tufan. He's cleverly. Kucho. And Josh King, well, he manages to control the ball. And that's a nice finish by Josh King. Watford took a 1-0 lead with 29 minutes gone. Good start by the Hornets. Free kick here, not long after Watford's goal. Headed forward by Mary and in by Ben White. I think the referee's going to check this, but Ben White is running off celebrating. And VAR has given the goal. It's 1-1. Backman's free kick can only find the head of Tierney. His Barboza. It's a good ball for Bukayo Saka. And a chance for Arsenal to take a lead here. And Barboza may have just done that. 64 minutes gone. Barboza scores to put Arsenal back in front. Or in front for the first time in the game. Cleverly. The free kick and it's a good one. Tom Cleverly bends the free kick around the wall. And equalises for Watford. It's 2-2. Phil Foden. Goosens. And the cross. It's a low cross. And it's bounced around. And eventually, Gabriel Jesus puts the ball in from a close range. 51st minute. City lead 1-0 at the Emirates. Saka. To Erdegaard. And that's a good ball over the top for Barboza, who meets it with a volley and equalises for Arsenal. 75th minute. VAR is just checking the goal. And it's fine. Being given. Tierney to Erdegaard. And Arsenal looking to hold on here for maybe a third straight penalty shootout. But Ake with a block there. It's Ferran Torres to Foden. Mares. And he's sent through Ferran Torres. And Torres, oh, he's beaten Ramsdale at the near post. And Man City equalised with two minutes to go. Is that going to be Arsenal's Carabao Cup run ended? Sterling looking for Gabriel Jesus. But Ramsdale, <laughs> well, I'm surprised Ramsdale didn't clear that. He was really living dangerously. And if Jesus had got that, that would have been a goal for Man City. But he's gone over the top here. And Diaz and Laporte have completely mixed up. And Barbosa has given Arsenal the 1-0 lead with 33 minutes gone. Taking advantage of the defensive laps. Tierney to Saka. And here's Aubameyang. And he goes out to Tomiyasu. Who's uh, looking to get past Raheem Sterling here. And Sterling brings down Tomiyasu. He did get books in the first half. And I think Sterling might get a second jello card here. 53 minutes gone. And Raheem Sterling has been sent off. Throw in here with Tomiyasu. And I think Ruben Diaz might have fouled Gabriel there. Referee, is then they're going to check this. Might be a penalty. Well, the penalty has been given. 62 minutes in. It's Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang stepping up to take the penalty. And it's a really strong penalty as well. And Arsenal double their lead against the 10 men of Man City. Odegaard with the free kick. And Ben White with the header at the far post. Might have made it 3-0 here. But again, VAR is going to check this. So many offside goals in this game that go to VAR. And lots of them actually given. As is this one. 
Well, I think it's fair to say that Arsenal have gotten their revenge on Man City after being knocked out of the Carabao Cup. And it's Smith Rowe to Gabriel Barboza. Smith Rowe's got the ball back. Is it four? It's four nil in 88th minute. Emil Smith Rowe scores to make it four. What a performance. What a turnaround after the Cup defeat. Arsenal emphatic today. Four nil win against Man City. And look at those stats as well. Man City, two shots and one shot on target. And yet Gabriel still gets a 6.5. I think the defensive ratings are broken in this game. I don't think it's the system. I think the defensive ratings are broken in the game. They're far too low. Gabriel until full time was on a 6.2, I think. I think once the full time whistle goes and they know they've got a clean sheet, I think it does add a little bit to the rating. But that's still far too low. Like, what did he do if Man City only had two shots? Like, what was Man City's stats like? All right, they were really, really, really bad. Rams dog at a 7.9. I think that's mainly because he got an assist, though. Uh, he set up the Barboza goal. He only he saved one shot in the match. So we didn't really have anything to do. We had a very quiet day, Ab um, uh, Adam, Adam Ramsdale? Aaron Ramsdale. His name is Aaron. Now, yeah, unfortunately, our Carabao Cup run has come to an end, but the board didn't really care about that, so I'm not overly disappointed by that. Absolute snooze fest against Norwich. Uh, drop points against Watford, but yeah, big win there against Man City. London derby today against Spurs. We've got FA Cup coming up as well. We're facing Reading at home in that. And in the league table, we currently sit in third place with five points behind leaders Man United and three points behind Liverpool in second. With three points clear of Man City with that win as well. Newcastle spending has seen them get into the European places. They're up to sixth place. Spurs, as mentioned, are up to 10th under their caretaker manager. That being Dean Rastrick. They haven't actually employed a new manager yet. And today, literally this morning as I'm recording this, Nuno Espirito Santo has been sacked as well. So we are just 48 hours removed from that big win against Man City. But, you know, we might have to rotate for this London derby. But hopefully we can put um, a good team out and get a good result here. Uh, so I think Tommy Asu is going to come out. So Ainsley Metlin Niles will play right back. He really isn't happy with us. And I, I might try and let him go. I'm not quite sure. Um, although he's English and homegrown. So maybe we should be a bit nicer to him and play him a bit more. Uh, Tavares will play at left back. All right, we're going to have Tobias as the advanced player maker. Party as a box-to-box. Laconga sitting a bit deeper in defensive midfield. Saka needs a rest. Pepe uh, is injured, but it's a broken wrist. So he's playing through it. Doesn't affect his running at all. Doesn't affect his football He's got a broken wrist. And I've given up on the whole trying to win possession thing because it's just not working no matter what I try. But then against Man City, we had 33% possession and still won 4-0. So clearly, you know, the whole soak up the pressure thing works really well. We've accidentally created, I think, a really good counter-attacking style. So I've gone back to that. So I've given up on the whole trying to get possession thing. I'm pretty confident that the uh, the whole low defensive ratings thing is not a bug. But, but I think something that hopefully the game will address with the full release. I don't know if anyone else is having the same um, experiences as me, though. I haven't really seen anything else about it. So it might just be me. Maybe it is my system. Maybe it is the way that I play that causes these low defensive ratings. But I'm not quite sure. But hopefully here in this North London derby, uh, we can get back-to-back -back wins against, you know, big opposition here. Um, Mickley Niles getting on the end of that. Surprised he actually got to the ball. And that's a cross. And it's cleared by Emerson Royale. After this game, we also face Liverpool at home. So we're on a really rotten run of fixtures at the moment. In Christmas time as well. The fixture list has been really nasty to us around Christmas time. But we have had we had a good cluster of like easy and winnable games as well. So, uh, you know, it swings and roundabouts. Rigging along with the throw here to Joe Bryan. And it's Son. And that's uh, blocked by Ben White. So hopefully that will see his rating bump up a bit. It was a good defensive block. Gabriel Barbosa has got a bit of work to do here. He's got a couple of players pressuring him. But he's going to win a foul maybe? No, just a throw. Nicola Pepe with a corner here. 29 minutes, almost half an hour coming up. Deli Ali heads it clear. It's Gabriel. Can hopefully try and bring it back in here. But we've got a lot of players committed forward here. We can't really lose the ball. It's Tavares to Gabriel. And Laconga. And he goes for goal. Um, you know, forces a good save from Hugo Lloris. I don't think Lokonga scored for us yet. But that was good. Bergwijn with a free kick here. About a minute and a half left of the first half. Oh, and it's in. I'm not sure if this will be given or not. Emerson Royale. Or is it Regulon that scored? I'm not quite sure who scored that. But I think v VAR is checking it. We'll see what the result is. I've seen more goals given than actually disallowed in this game. And that one has been given as well. Let's see what happened here then. So it's Bergwijn with a free kick. Emerson Royale 
forces a save from Ramsdale, and then Regulon uh, absolutely powers in the rebound. The Spurs take a 1 0 lead. We have got a highlight straight from kickoff, though. So we have about 30 seconds left of the 45 plus one. Uh, match uh, one minute of stoppage time. Donny van der Beek is actually playing and scored for Man United. Uh, his game's inaccurate. Oh, Smith throws through here. Oh, and we equalised. Oh, right. Surely this has got to be given. Don't disallow this and and give the other one. Come on. Oh my God, really? Smith Rowe was offside. And in the last minutes of the first half, we've got a lot of action here. Let's see this again. It's tight, but he is just offside. And Romero missed the header as well. Okay, we're going at halftime 1-0 down in the London Derby. He was Mithro with that goal disallowed. M just barely a minute after Regulon's goal was given. Um, Spurs have looked good. Uh, we haven't really looked good. They're a good team in arrival. There's no excuse in that first half performance. That's a good team talk, I think. Uh, need to create a bit more, I think. So we're going to bump it up to standard, try and work it in there. And we're going to get stuck in because it's a derby. Might result in a red card, but whatever. Let's fire them up as well and try and get back into this game. So Bios hasn't been too good today. But there might be a chance here early in the second half. It's Maitland-Niles and it's Barboza. How did you miss that? At least get that on target. Come on. All right, approaching the hour. So Bios has had a really poor game. So he's going to come off. Uh, I didn't put uh, Odegaard on the bench. All right, in that case, Smith Rowe will move to centre attack in midfield. And Saka will come on the left hand side. And we go to a 4 2 3 1. Try and get something from this game. Let's go attacking. Try and get a, a, an equalising goal here. Um, Spurs have been the better team. Possession is a bit more even. Hopefully, we can equalise soon. But Spurs here with the ball. It's Deli Alley coming up to midway in the second half. Ben White's header is not a great one. It's only gone as far as Joe Bryan. And Brian with the ball to Deli Alley, who fires in a, a second goal for Spurs. Um, it's, it's Brian Gill. Why did I default to Joe Bryan? Why did I default to Joe Bryan? It's Brian Gill. It's a Spanish winger. Joe Bryan plays for Fulham. <laughs> second yellow card would be livid. Also, I'm livid that we're actually 2-0 down here. It's been a pretty poor performance today. But again, it's a heavily rotated side. Um, you know, we're just 48 hours after that Man City game. So I, I think, you know, a little bit of a dip can be expected. But this isn't a good performance. Gabriel with a header away. Here's Maitland-Niles to Thomas Partey. Smith Rowe. Maitland-Niles goes long. Barboza's on side. There might be a chance to get a goal back here. But it just took a little bit too long. And Rowe on... What was a Cynical challenge. But Barboza's still got the ball. It's Laconga. And he shot it straight at Hugo Lloris. All right, Pepe's tired and also got that broken wrist. So we're going to get him off. We're going to go two up top. Bring on the Bamiyang. Here's Bergwijn for Tottenham. 20 minutes to go. We're running out of time. But again, we really haven't looked good today. But we've uh, managed to win the ball back there. So Lokonga to Smith Rowe. Barboza. I mean, he's the furthest player forward, but he's still sitting quite deep, isn't he? He needs to start getting forward a bit more. Pepe might be his last contribution here. Party to Ben White. Benjamin White. His name is Benjamin White, and that's what he wants to be called. Laconga to Tavares. Saka. Could be a chance here. If Saka can get this cross away. Oh, he's won a corner. We don't get to see the corner. Here's Brian Gill, not Joe Bryan. 74th minute corner. Oliver Skip goes up for it, but Party clears. Here's Bergwine to Rodon. See, his name's Joe. He's also. That might be a known goal. It's a Gabriel own goal and it's 3-0 Tottenham. Uh, I might have to get the bottle ready for this. We're really not having a good day. Uh, Joe Rodham, I think, got the assist here. And yeah, Gabriel diverted it in at the near post. That's an own goal and it's 3-0. I think at this point, which could damage limitation, this could get embarrassing. Oh, we might get something here though. Bamiang. Saka's going to keep this in. Come on. What? That's not a good cross. That really isn't a good cross. It went over everybody. Like, it cleared everybody. Martinelli's on on the right-hand side. I'm really, like... I'm asking for trouble here. I'm 3-0 down. I'm going 4-2-4. Chelsea with a late lead. At Ellen Road against Leeds. Harry Winks with a corner. And our oh, Son with the fourth. We went from winning 4-0 against Man City, the champions, to losing 4-0 against Spurs... 
And they have completely changed under this caretaker manager. They've completely changed. Son with the far post header. And Tavares has had... Well, Gabriel, Gabriel and Tavares, that left side has been just absolutely dismal today. This has been a really, really poor performance. Like, we've still got a minute and a half left of stoppage time. Spurs are looking for a fifth here, but Son skies it. Thomas Partey, Maitland-Niles. Again, headed away, full time. Really rotten performance there. 4-0 in the London derby against Spurs. Deary me. Regulon, Ali, a Gabriel own goal and Son. Smith row with the ball in the net, but it's disallowed. Really bad defensive display there. Saka was very poor since coming on. Ceballos was... Ceballos didn't play how he usually played. I usually have him as a Mizar, but he was a Vox playmaker. He had a really, really bad performance. That hop, that whole performance was terrible. I'm throwing the bottle. I'm throwing the bottle for that because that was awful. So Man City join us on 41 points. We are still in third place on goal difference. But yeah, Chimene's right. That was grim. And possession was much more balanced. We had 10 shots, but chance-wise, we just weren't there and we just couldn't defend. Okay, person number two. Uh, we'll be playing blind date now. What's this? <laughs> Bachelor number two. Why did you do disallow our goal? Uh, looking at the match analysis, apparently we can't be too disappointed with the result. We've just lost 4-0 in the North London derby. How can you not be disappointed with that? Yeah, chance-wise, we had a couple of opportunities, but nothing huge. Spurs with that massive chance just before half-time. Six shots inside the box. We didn't score from any of them. That's not good enough. And we allowed 13 attempts inside our box. Six headers. That's not good. Okay, it does seem like we're doing quite poorly in the aerial department. We're attempting about 66, 67 headers per game. And we're only winning about two thirds of them. So that needs to be better. Looking at our defending, we are far below average in terms of clearances per game. 31 per game isn't too many. Fouls were just below average, which isn't too bad. Blocks as well were quite low. Our tackling's above average though. So that's not terrible, but yeah. We, there's some work to do in defence, I think. I haven't really looked into training too much, as a matter of fact. Yeah, we've been doing match reviews because they help cohesion, make sure you do one after every match. But I think we might need to have like a solid week of like defensive training because it does seem to be a problem. It really does. Anyway, let's have a look at what we have coming up. So we'll come back uh, sometime in January because we do have a January transfer window. We do have a bit of money to play with. And there are a couple of players that I'm in, on the lookout for. I think we're going to need a central defender because I don't think our defenders can quite cut it, honestly. Maitland-Niles, I'm not quite sure what to do with him. Uh, he wants to leave, so I might let him. But we're, you know, we've already sold one homegrown player in Eddie and Ketcher. Do I really want to sell another one? I'm not quite sure. And, you know, we've still got Lacazette on the wage bill. He needs to come off the wage bill. Otherwise, he's going to be going for free at the end of the season. I, I haven't played him. He's frozen out of the team because he was sitting still he was blocking moves so he's pissed me off so next episode i think we'll take on west ham uh so we'll have uh league games against liverpool palace and southampton we'll have the fa cup tie against uh reading but next time we'll do the west ham game and we'll go through a few january bits and pieces then some transfers because i'm sure there's going to be some action i'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to be some action in this in this transfer window Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below and leave comments. They are the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then please do subscribe and turn notifications on. Make sure you don't miss a video. West Ham's going to be the game next time. I'm sure you'll see some January deals uh, in the transfer window and maybe a deadline day thing. I'm not too sold on the whole deadline day thing. It's just yellow. But um, yeah, we'll see if we get some, some uh, acquisitions in January. But for now, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.